It's 8 p.m. in Japan, and welcome to Newsroom Tokyo. I'm Shobe Pu. And I'm Aki Shibuya. We start with the headlines. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has landed in Washington ahead of his meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump. Trump's pledge for corporate tax cuts cheers investors in Asia, with the Nikkei surging more than 2%. New revelations show high risks around Japan's peacekeeping mission in South Sudan. Moscow is ready for talks with Tokyo over possible business activity in the Northern Territories. The islands are controlled by Russia, but claimed by Japan. On our suite, the work of a Japanese master comes home. Marie Yanaka visits a retrospective devoted to Krozone artist Yasuyuki Namikawa. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has arrived in Washington for a summit with U.S. President Donald Trump. The visit is seen as especially important, given controversial remarks by Trump. The statements have raised concerns about ties between the two longtime allies. Last November, Abe met with Trump shortly after the New York businessman won the presidency. Trump, I am convinced that Mr. Trump is a leader I can trust. Now, almost 10 weeks later, Abe is set to become the first Asian leader to meet with Trump since he took office. At the meeting, security ties are expected to be high on the agenda. During the election campaign, Trump said he may demand that U.S. allies, including Japan, shoulder a greater burden. The countries we are defending must pay for the cost of this defense. And if not, the U.S. must be prepared to let these countries defend themselves. But earlier this month, U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis visited Japan and offered reassurance that the alliance will be strengthened. I made clear that our long-standing policy on the Senkaku Islands stands. The United States will continue to recognize Japanese administration of the islands, and as such, Article 5 of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty applies. Article 5 obliges the U.S. to defend Japan against aggression. Japan controls the Senkakus in the East China Sea. The Japanese government maintains the islands are an inherent part of Japan's territory. China and Taiwan claim them. After the summit, Japanese and U.S. officials are planning to release a joint statement. Sources say it will likely state that the security treaty applies to the Senkaku Islands. Other important topics expected to be addressed at the summit are trade and economic policies. They're areas where Trump has directly criticized Japan. We sell a car into Japan and they do things to us that make it impossible to sell cars in Japan, and yet they sell cars into us and we have to all talk about that. It's not fair. Every other country lives on devaluation. You look at what China's doing, you look at what Japan has done over the years. They, uh, they play the money market, they play the devaluation market, and we sit there like a bunch of dummies. Trump's statements have put some Japanese businesses on the defensive. Toyota Motor President Akio Toyota recently said his company produces a large number of cars in the U.S. and that it's built up a strong local supply chain. I hope Toyota will be seen as basically a U.S. automaker. As for accusations of currency manipulation, Abe says Japan's monetary policy is aimed at achieving 2% inflation. He's called criticism that Japan is letting the yen fall inappropriate. Trump has also pulled the U.S. out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership free trade deal favored by Abe. The president says he wants to pursue bilateral negotiations instead. Abe plans to propose a new framework to allow cabinet-level members of both nations to discuss issues. They include macroeconomic measures, trade policies, and joint projects, such as infrastructure improvement. I hope the summit will send a clear message that the Japan-U.S. alliance is unwavering and will become even stronger and more resilient under President Trump.
メッセージとなるような足の階段にしたいと考えています。In a few hours, Abe will meet Trump at the White House. The president has invited the Prime Minister to fly with him on Air Force One to his private resort in Florida. There, Trump will host a dinner for Abe, and later, the two leaders are scheduled to play golf. With us in studio is Professor Fumiko Nishizaki of the University of Tokyo. She's an expert on US politics and diplomacy.、Uh, Professor Nishizaki, thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. So, in a few hours, the two leaders are going to meet.、Um, mm -hmm. But basically, what is this summit all about? I, th I think this is really a, a, an effort to, to reassure each other that、uh, US Japan relations is, as usual, it's, it's going to be strengthened、uh, dur during the new presidency and so on. So, so it's, it's, it's really、um, on both sides trying to, to know each other and to, to be on, on closer relationships. But why do the, both, why did these leaders have to reassure something?、Uh, is it because that there are doubts about the alliance, for example, about the, US,、uh, the Japan US treaty, for example?、Uh, well, I, I think、uh, President Trump, or when he was a, a, a still a candidate, had said a lot of things about.、Uh, Alliances in general, not particularly、uh, US Japan、uh, relations, but you know, like they have to be the, the allies, h a v e to be spending more、mm. uh, to, to, to、uh, have American security and, and then also the economic issue as well,、uh, the trade issues and、uh, currency issues. So there were a lot of doubts, I think, in, on Japan's part whether this is going to continue, the alliance is going to be as strong as. It has been.、Mm. Is that why it seems that for some Japanese officials they have a particular interest、mm -hmm. in having、uh, Donald Trump express that the security treaty will cover、uh, the Senkaku Islands? The, they are all talking about this Article、mm -hmm. 5,、uh, where the Senkaku falls into that、uh, scope or not.、Right. Why is that? Well, I think it has a very symbolic meaning.、Mm. I, I think that ever since the, there has been the, the,、uh, the conflict between China and Japan over the Senkaku Islands, Japan, the Japanese government has tried to get reassurance from the, the US government to,、uh, that, that, that the, the, the city treaty applies to this, these islands. So, so they won't have to have the, again, reassurance、mm. on that point.、Mm. It seems that some government officials were rather relieved when,、uh, for example, when、uh, James Mattis was here,、mm -hmm. and that、uh, it is reportedly said that、uh, he didn't really raise the issue of cost at、mm -hmm. the time.、Right. Um, but is it、uh, okay to understand that that issue is, is solved? It will not be on the table anymore? Or do you think there's a chance that Trump might talk about the cost sharing? Um, there may be, but not, probably not at this point.、Mm. I, I think this, it, this is a sort of an ongoing issue,、um, and it's, it's not something that you have to be talking on, the, on day one of the, the US Japan、uh, summit.、Um, I, I think Trump is still、uh, trying to, to really figure out what the US posture should be in East, East Asia in, in general. Vis a vis China and Taiwan and so on. So, so it will be not, not necessarily the, the top, on top, top of the, the agenda.、Mm. You mentioned the top of the agenda. So basically, it seems that one of the to,、uh, top agendas is the, is the issue of trade.、Uh, right. When it comes to like, the car exports from Japan to the US, when it comes、mm -hmm. to the,、uh, currency, well,、mm -hmm. The US side is accusing Japan as ma trying to manipulate the currency, which, which is basically what the Japanese side is saying that it's impossible because it's a market that decides. But、right. all of these k i n d of things, do you think that the gap of the, of the understanding can be amended this time?、Um, well, maybe not amended, but, but still、uh, so, sort of in talking terms, I, I guess.、Um, I think the, the Japan, Japanese government is, is trying to. Ease the tension between US、uh, or, or, or sort of placate、uh, Trump's words as, so that he won't be targeting Japan in a, in a, a very uh, uh, explicit way.、Mm. Um, so, so there will be a lot of talks about、uh, how, how Japan could contribute to US auto industry or the employment or in,、uh, infra, uh, investment in infra, infrastructure and so on. So, so、um, they, they all, I, I don't think ev、uh, everything would be solved,、mm. but, but still,、um, not to be 
sort of talking uh, in front of the public in in, in that public way. Mm. I think that's that's the purpose of the the summit mm. as well. If uh, Trump raises to the issue of trying to have a bilateral kind of a treaty when it comes to trade, mm -hmm. well, after he declared that the US will be out from the TPP, right. um, what would that mean to for Japan? Well, it will be uh, a tough negotiation if if uh, Japan were to uh, US and Japan were to open uh, a new round of negotiations, especially on agriculture and other issues that uh, under the TPP negotiations uh, be, uh, in the Japan and the United States and other countries have uh, come to terms. Um, so it will be a tough negotiation, and then I think uh, uh, it's probably uh, better for Japan to be not rush into a, a new agreement, but just you know, t uh, take time to, to negotiate things and, and sort things mm. out. Interesting. Uh, now, um, an another aspect that people talk about is that yeah. both leaders, they're going to play golf together right. in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think Trump wanted to do this? And why do you think Abe accepted this? Um, I, I think most leaders like strong leaders and they want to have a, a, a strong uh, personal Report uh, relationship um, for Prime Minister Abe. I think he want to have something like Ron Yasu mm. uh, relationship with Reagan, Reagan and, and, and Nakasone. Right. Mm. Uh, so, so this was probably a, a good chance for both of them to appeal that they these two leaders are are enjoying themselves and, and trusting themselves. Mm. But I, I, I do think there's a risk. Oh. <laughs> what kind of risk? Uh, that, because that be? the the Trump administration has had, had a very rough start of his administration. Mm. Uh, the cabinet appointees are being controversial. Um, there's the, the ban, uh, the travel ban of the, the seven Muslim, predominantly Muslim countries right. that are very unpopular and, and challenged by the court. So to be uh, <laughs> golfing together with President Trump uh, may sa send a signal that Abe is, is not really taking these things seriously. Mm. And that's a message that I don't think is uh, appeal to the American public or the, the, the public in, in, around the world. So that's a, that's a risk that's mm. involved. So uh, looking for intimacy, mm -hmm. but there is on the hand, other hand a chance that it could be seen too intimate. Then, right. Right. Yes. Um, um, Professor, thank you very much. Well, my pleasure, thank you. If you missed any of our stories, visit our Newsroom Tokyo's website. And with that, we say goodnight from Tokyo. I'm Shobepu. And I'm Aki Shibuya. See you next week on NHK World.